Today we're going to be adding rational numbers. Specifically, we're going to be talking about decimals, positive and negative decimals. So when you add rational numbers or decimals, the first thing you have to do is decide whether you will add or subtract using the rules for adding integers. It's the same exact rules. If the signs are the same, you'll be adding. If the signs are different, well, that means you're going to be subtracting. So once you figure that out, add or subtract the absolute values and give it the sign of the greater absolute value. Now here we have our first problem. Negative 2.5 plus 3.6. When I look at these two numbers, 3.6 has the greater absolute value. And in this case, because the signs are different, we're going to subtract. So I take 3.6 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the decimal because remember from earlier uh, grade levels we line up decimals when we're adding. So in this case the signs are different. I'm going to subtract. I get a 1 there. I get a decimal there. I get another 1 there. Then I go back up and look at the original problem. Which one's greater? 3.6 is greater than negative 2.5 so my answer will be positive. On my next problem, I notice that both of my decimals are negative, which means I simply have to add the decimals and then give it the negative sign. So I'm going to start out with 4.8 and then I'm going to add 2.14. Important thing to remember on this one, we have to annex a zero after we line up the decimals. Once we do that, we just add, fairly simple, and we get 6.94. Don't forget to put in your negative sign because a negative and a negative means we're going to have a lot of negatives. Okay, going to our last example, I have 5.2 and negative 6.7. In this case, 6.7 has the greater absolute value. Now I notice that the signs are different, so I'll be subtracting. 6.7 minus 5.2. When I do that, I get a 5, and I get a 1. Now, I give it a negative sign because negative 6.7 has a greater absolute value than 5.2. Yes, these are easy problems. You should be able to do them. Just remember, combine what you learned about integers with what you know about decimals, and you'll be able to add rational numbers when they're decimals.